Democrats like crooked Hillary Clinton have run the inner cities for 50, 60, 70, even 100 years uninterrupted. They produced only more joblessness, failing schools, and rising crime. Those African Americans suffering in our country, and I have to tell you this, they're suffering. They're suffering. You got no jobs, inner cities. You got no jobs, you have no safety, you have no education, the schools are horrible. I say to them, what the hell do you have to lose? I'm going to fix the inner cities. I'm going to fix them. Going to fix them. Vote for Trump. We've spent six billion. Think of this. Think of this. We spend billions and billions of dollars on different things. We don't get our money's worth. But we've spent in the Middle East five to six trillion dollars. What do we have? It's worse now. Had we done nothing in the Middle East, it's much better than it is now. You wouldn't have the migration. Look at the mistakes that Hillary Clinton made. Libya, Iraq, they created ISIS because the way they got out of Iraq, whether you like going into the war or not, and despite what you read from these dishonest people, I was against going into Iraq, by the way. But, but whether you were in or not, it was somewhat with the surge stabilized. And they announced to the world that they're going to take everybody out real fast, get them out, get them out, get them out. And the vacuum was created. And guess who came out of the vacuum? Who came out of the vacuum? ISIS. That was Hillary Clinton and our great genius president, Barack Obama. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> and now what he does, all he wants to do is campaign. Remember he said, Donald Trump will never win the Republican primary. All right, so we've won that one. Right? Isn't it too bad? Isn't it too bad that we don't have stronger leadership on both sides? On both sides. I mean, you know, you have people that can't fix a budget, but then they start talking about their nominee, but they can't fix the budget. Isn't it, isn't it really sad that we don't have stronger leadership on both sides? But that'll change if we win on November 8th. Believe me, it's going to change fast. It's going to change fast. But why is it that the President of the United States, we've got no growth. You saw GNP, you saw that. GDP, you saw that, right? It's so bad, like 1%. That means we're not growing. Do you know if China goes down to 7 or 8%, it's like considered a national tragedy. Here we are hovering at nothing. Our jobs are gone, we have bad jobs. They have a phony employment rate. Bad jobs numbers last week. Did you see those bad jobs numbers? And that's the last jobs report before the election. I was shocked. I was so surprised that they let that happen. Because it's all rigged. It's all rigged. But let me just tell you, we're going to do something that's going to be so amazing. I'm going to fight harder than anybody has ever fought for the American people. Harder. We're going to help the Latinos. Trapped in poverty. We're going to fight for school choice. We're going to fight to end Common Core, which we'll do very quickly, and bring education locally. And Hillary Clinton can't do those things because she's totally run by the teachers union, which are wonderful people, by the way, but they have total control. So you can't have choice and you can't end Common Core. If you're Hillary Clinton, you can't do it because you're controlled by the teachers, just like she's controlled by Wall Street. So what we're going to do are things that haven't been done. And these things are going to be wonderful. We have a military that's depleted. We have to build up our military. We have to. We have no choice. We have to take care of our great veterans. We're not taking care of our veterans. Not taking care of them. We're going to save your Second Amendment. We're going to terminate Obamacare and replace it. We're going to have the largest tax cut since Ronald Reagan. Remember this, hers are going up. We are going to do things that are going to make you so proud.
of this country again. You're going to be so proud. You're going to go to the polls, and you're going to go even home tonight, and you're going to say to your husband, to your wife, to your children, to whoever listens, I had a great time. But you're going to look back in 10 years, and 15, and 20 years, and 25 years, and you're going to say, this was one of the most important nights. More importantly, you're going to say on November 8th, the single most important vote you've ever cast is going to be cast on November 8th. She wants to put our miners out of business. Not going to happen. Going to be just the, we're going to have clean coal. We're going to have all forms of energy. We're going to have all forms of energy. We're going to have everything. But we're going to take care of our miners. We're going to take care of our steel workers. We're going to not let the EPA destroy our companies for natural gas and shale and all of the things. Not going to let it happen. We're not going to let it happen. So you're going to go home, and you're going to say, great evening, great evening. But you're going to look back at that vote, and you're going to say that was a very, very important day, that that was the greatest vote I've ever cast, because that's when our country started turning around. That's when our country started turning around. And you're going to be proud of your country again, and hopefully you're going to be very proud of your president. And you're going to see things happen that have never happened before. We're going to make great trade deals. We're going to have our strong military, and hopefully we're not going to have to use it. But it's called peace through strength. And we're going to have our borders back again. And people are going to come into our country, but they're going to come in legally. They are going to come in. We're going to have a big, beautiful door. But they're going to come in legally through a process. And it's not going to be a process now where people are waiting in line for 10 years and they don't move, and yet people come right across the border so unfair. We're going to have a fair process. And we want people to come in. Is that correct? We want people, but they have to come in. Legally. And we're going to see immediate change, and that's what you need. Hillary Clinton is not about change. Hillary Clinton has been doing this stuff for 30 years. And I said to her last night, I said to her last night, I said, you know, Hillary, you talk about this thing and that thing, and oh, gee, Donald's got some great tax deal, but all her friends have the same thing. All her friends. I said, Hillary, you were a United States senator. Why didn't you do something about it? She's not going to do anything about anything. It's just talk. And you saw it, and I said, when she was a senator, she said she was going to do things. She never did a thing. It only got worse. That's what's going to happen with our country, folks. So here's the story. You go out, early vote, do whatever you have to do. But you go out on November 8th, and you vote. Because so many things we are going to appoint. Remember this. People don't talk about it. Justice Scalia passed away. Great man. Great justice. We are going to appoint great people who believe in our Constitution to the United States Supreme Court. People that believe in our Second Amendment to the United States Supreme Court. This election day, you have one magnificent chance to deliver justice for every forgotten man woman, and child in this country. You have 29 days. Can you believe it? This started on June 16th of last year, coming down the escalator, to make every dream you ever dreamed for your country to come true. On November 8th, the arrogance of Washington, D.C. will come face to face with the righteous verdict 
of the American voter. It's about time. We are going to smash the Washington establishment and open it up to each and every American the way it's supposed to be. Wouldn't it be nice if some of our politicians fought the special interests instead of fighting me and you? The sad truth is a lot of establishment politicians simply don't believe in protecting our borders or fixing our trade deals or putting America first. And we are going to put America first. I'm going to fight for every citizen of every background from every stretch of this nation, and I'm going to fight to bring us all together as Americans. We are a divided country now. Imagine what our country could accomplish if we started working together as one people, under one God, saluting one American flag. You're going to look back at this rally for the rest of your life. You're going to remember this day. This is a movement like you've never seen before, and you will never see it again. If it doesn't happen on November 8th, it's never going to happen for our country. Believe me, it will never happen again. We are going to make history together. You're going to look back at this election and say, this is by far, and I say it again and again, the most important vote by far that you've ever cast. We're going to vote to make our country safe again. We're going to vote to make our country wealthy again.